Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Sangiborch. I'm a PhD in popular music singing. I've worked as a singer and artist since my late teens. And one of the key problems that I found out that we had was the vocal warm-up. How could we do the vocal warm-up perfectly? So I made a lot of research and the result, voila, the Sanger voice pipe. This is how it looks. It's nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's the result of extensive research of the soft exercises, semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. All semi-occluded vocal exercises work in the same way. You build up a subglottal pressure, lung pressure, support, some will call that. The support moves to the vocal folds, they start to vibrate. The vibration will make a waveform, then all of these waveforms, they want to come out through your mouth or your nose but they can't because it's closed, like So a majority of these waveforms will move back, creating a positive oral pressure. So I analyzed the exercises and found out that the absolute ultimate measures for giving the perfect result is this. So after vocalizing in the Sanger voice pipe, you will have put your vocal structures in a perfect position for singing. This will result in higher perceived vocal volume and a sense of ease when you sing. You might think, why not just use this water thing? This is developed for rehabilitation of injured voices. This gives you massage. You would not like to be like massaged when you're going to fight. No, you use it when you need to rehab. And this is when you need to sing, perform, record. So why not just use a straw? Well, good luck with that. I tried it for two years. I tried to find the perfect straw with the perfect design for my voice. So I designed this Sang voice pipe for a reason. And I don't know anyone who has worked with straws, tried the Sang voice pipe and not converted into the Sang voice pipe. So you can use the voice pipe in six different ways. Vocal warm up, vocal cool down when you're nervous, vocal reset, vocal support and register practicing. There's not that many things you can do wrong with the voice pipe. But one would be that you sing through your nose instead of into the voice pipe. To secure that you're not doing this, you can pinch your nose. If nothing sounds from your nose when you do this, you do it correctly. If it sounds like this, it's wrong. So vocal warm up. In short, you just keep the pipe like this with the logo pointing down. And here it's important that you do not push with any air in your cheeks like this. So you don't blow in this one, you sing into it. I'm gonna show you now how I would sing into it. This is the loudness I would use. Into the pipe, it sounds like this. Using my support, relaxing here, relaxing my shoulders, well, it's not really important what you sing into this, what kind of melodies and so, but it is important that you start from low notes to high notes in maximum of five minutes when you warm up. And the exercises that I prefer, you will find in my books. For vocal cool down, you can just do the same as for the vocal warm up, but shorter. Two minutes is enough, and you move from your high notes to your lower notes. And this will put your voice box or your vocal folds into a great position for recovering until the next day, until the next session. When using the pipe, when you're really nervous, when you're going on stage to speak or sing, the reason for the trembling in your voice is a high pressure here that you cannot control. So to reset that, you just do one or two of these. And as you see, now I really break my own rule with puffy cheeks. But this is actually the only situation that you can have puffy cheeks with this. Using the voice pipe for vocal reset is perfect when you're recording or when you're on stage singing a lot of songs and you feel a bit of pressure after maybe half of it. You just want to glide, just reset the whole system. In that case, you can just glide from below to your high note two or three times like this. Drink a glass of water, you're back on track. One area you can also use this is for vocal support. A lot of students and singers have a difficulty finding their support. Where is this support? Is it here, 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 here? No, it's quite simple. You just vocalize into the pipe and you have your hand on your stomach. 
and you do it like this, you will find an activity here that is your support. And from there you can develop it, practice it. We have another area we can use the pipe in and that is chest register singing. A common problem here is that you push too hard. So if you just want to check out, so how much do I need to push on this note? I try it, I sing it into the pipe and I do it without. Doing this helps me not to over push in my chest register and it really gives me a clear picture and feel of how it should feel when I'm singing my high notes. So to sum it up, I would just say that the Sanga voice pipe is a perfect tool for singers. It's safe to use, it's silent to use, and it's even addictive. So good luck with your singing and with your use of the pipe.